Welcome back to VV Flex, and today I want to talk over the drop that's happening tomorrow, June 7th. VV is dropping Marvel Maestro the Hulk. Now let's read up a little bit about it. And that says, in one possible future, after a devastating nuclear war, only one superpowered being remains on the face of the Earth. The Hulk, gone mad after absorbing nuclear radiation, bestows the title of Maestro upon himself and turns into a megalomaniac who rules the world with an iron fist. With enhanced strength and the super intelligence of Bruce Banner, the Maestro is the toughest version of the Hulk yet. Now the drop price for this NFT is going to be $50 and this is going to have the waitlist drop format. It says here, waitlist will open 30 minutes before drop time for verified KYC users. If you enter the waitlist and are lucky enough to secure a reservation, you will have 15 minutes to complete the purchase process. If you do not complete the purchase, your collectible reservation will be returned to the public pool and be available for users to purchase directly from the VV store. Okay, now let's go over the drop here. And now the, like I said, the drop price is going to be $50. It's going to be classified as an uncommon and it's going to have 3,333 additions. And this will be a first appearance. The Hulk's greatest enemy has always been himself. This must have digital collectible features is the maestro in premium digital format this is the second in a collection of four digital collectibles depicting different manifestations of the hulk collect all four and get a fifth hulk airdrop so that's it after this one's only going to be two more then we get that airdrop now looking at this drop i gotta say i like it to me it looks way better than the first hulk that they dropped a lot of people including myself weren't too happy with how the hulk looked in that one but looking at this one i feel like it's a little bit more improved he definitely looks better i'm liking the animation as well and seeing how the first classic hulk did you know in the beginning it kind of went slightly under retail then it kind of held and then I've even seen it double in price. So I didn't go for the drop on that one. I was able to get it slightly cheaper than the drop, maybe by like $8 or so. I think with this one, I'm just going to go ahead and actually just go for the drop. I feel like possibly it'll stay relatively the same as the other Hulk. Like maybe in the beginning, it'll stay relatively close to the retail price and then maybe dip slightly but i think eventually these are just all going to go up especially here from here on to the airdrop i don't see these dropping so much because everyone's going to want to go for that airdrop it'll probably be similar to how the infinity gems went you know a lot of the the stones held their value until the gauntlet actually came out so i feel like something like that might happen with this again this is not financial advice so guys comment down below let me know what you guys think let me know how you feel about this animation do you feel like they improved from the first classic coke animation and the graphics and also let me know if you're going for this drop like i said i definitely will like comment share subscribe and as always stay flexing vv flex out